Hi, my canters. It's Jamie Zebra 23. I'm doing your August 2017 um, general reading um, for uh, the basis of why you and your ex broke up. It didn't work. And then the past life you had together with your ex that could have been blocking this lifetime. Um, this is for Cancer Sun, Moon, or Rising. I've, uh, I've divided it up into four elements. So Cancers that are dealing with Earth, Cancer that's dealing with Water, Cancer that's dealing with Air, and Cancer that's dealing with Fire. Um, I have, uh, oh, I'm on um, all social media at JamieZebra23. If you'd like a personal reading, check out my website, JamieZebra23.com. I do not have PayPal. Um, my uh, my readings are $25, $50, and $75. I um, My readings are done 24 to 72 hours after payment is received. I also have a new feature, same-day readings. It's a little pricier, but you get your reading the same day. I also have a $5 one question, one answer via email only. Um, you get you receive your answer typically within like immediate to just a couple of hours, um, depending on, on how quickly you, um, you answer my email back to you. Um, I also have um, kits for love, money, and protection, spells for love, money, and protection, all sorts of good stuff. Check out the website. So this is what we got. We're going to start first with Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising that's dealing with Earth. That was it. had an Earth sign X. The, re the reason for your breakup. Okay, Dorian Virtue does not have reverse cards, but I'm using my intuition and what I know to be true. This is what you got. You got past in reverse. There are no reverse cards, but this is in reverse, so I've got to tell you. When it says past life relationship, you've known each other before when it's in reverse that's karmic relationship and then what you got for your past life is karmic relationship yeah you can't make this stuff up so let me oh give that back let him have that back please one minute oh here you go here you chubby wubby here you chubby wubby oh wubby wubby let him have his froggies. Here, chubby Okay, so I'm going to be reading from the book What Past Life You Guys Had Together. So you got two cards basically saying karmic relationship. Um, it just was unhealthy. It wasn't healthy in any lifetime. It's not healthy in this one. Something kind of crazy happened. Um, so let me read it to you. <laughs> karmic relationship. I mean, I'm sure most of you already knew. That there was just something wrong. You were drawn to this person, but you knew that everything about this person was really effed up. And there was no way, like, to even... You don't even know how it even happened. Come on. Come on, where are you? Karmic relationship. This card indicates that one or more of the people in your current life are from previous lifetimes. You both um, ended your relationships with karmic imbalances. This means that one or both of you likely are harboring old feelings that need to be healed and released. When this occurs, you will be set free from reoccurring destructive and toxic relationship patterns. In some cases, this card will arise when there's a reunion with a beloved soul from a previous life. Perhaps you finally reconnected with a romantic partner from your past, or a new friendship is bringing great joy. With a healthy with healthy past life connections, you will immediately feel a sense of comfort and familiarity. You received this card in answer to your question or concern that involves a karmic relationship. Fortunately, you can appeal to heaven for help in releasing any old stuck energies or emotions. You may also be guided to work with a specialist in past life regression and relationship healing. This is an unhealthy thing. Karmic relationships, those are the ones that keep coming back and they don't go away. That's a, that's a number one sign you're in a karmic relationship. Okay, so for the Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising that's dealing with um, with water, the, the basis of the relationship breaking up was you deserve love. You are lovable. Some of you didn't know that you were lovable or the person that you were with didn't know this. So your fellow water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, some somebody had major insecurities. Somebody didn't feel like they were worthy. Somebody um, somebody let the insecurities get the best of them. Somebody just felt like, like they would never measure up. And that's what messed up the relationship. Baby is the karmic pattern here. Let's see what that's about. When we get this card, it's either you you were their baby, or they were your baby, or you had a baby together in a past life, and um, and that's the basis for this. Let me see. The situation you're inquiring about involves an infant on some level. Your unconscious mind will reveal the way in which the baby plays a role in your current life. You may have already received the answer in the form of a thought or a feeling. 
Trust this information as your unconscious mind will slowly and gently help you remember, release painful memories. At first, you may think you're imagining the information, but as you put together more pieces of the puzzle through signs and additional recollections, you'll feel confident in claiming your past lifetime. This card can speak about you as a baby in this or a previous lifetime. There may have been some trauma that you suffered as a baby or that involved a baby of yours in that lifetime. It also may describe parenthood in this or previous lives. Oh, your feelings and thoughts will guide you so that you can discern the specific meaning. And then for, um, for the uh, Cancer Sun Moon Arising that's dealing with fire, trust. Trust was the reason, the reason that the relationship did not work out. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So for some of you, the relationship didn't work out because there were trust issues, but then for others of you, you, you may be getting back together with a fire sign. You may end up and, um, and trust is what's going to be called for. Of course, use your discernment, use your own judgment, use common sense. Nobody should be a doormat, used or abused. That's right. Nobody should be used or abused. No, no, no. Um, so yeah, so use your own judgment. For some of you, you guys are getting back together. For others of you, you're not. Oh, oh. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. Here. <gasps> yes. And then, um, the karmic passage you had was leaving or travel. Come on, come on. L M N. Leaving or travel. You drew this card because of, because of an old pattern spanning several lifetimes that involved travel and leaving. You may notice in this lifetime that you're a vagabond of sorts and want to continually be moving. You may wish to travel often or seek out a career in which you do so. You may also tend to move into new homes frequently. You've developed this pro uh, propensity for leaving and movement out of necessity during your lives as a vagabond or a nomad. Your, uh, your relationships may have also involved you leaving your partner or being left by a partner who traveled. This kind of movement is impacting your situation that you're inquiring about today. So that's a, that's a, that's the past life that you had with this person, with this fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. It was always a separation, always, always either somebody was kidnapped or somebody went away, you know, because they met someone new, but uh, somebody was always getting left. That's why the trust issues are there. It's underlying because there was underlying, you know, that you can't trust this person. All right, guys, ta-ta for now.